Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <coughs> Dear students, today we talk about uh, the coordinate system and transformation between the coordinate systems. Because basically we have, we could have a, a lot of coordinate systems. Um, say for example, we have an object, it has its own coordinate system. It may be defined, uh, its uh, own coordinate system which may not lie, say for example, on our screen. So our screen, for example, has the coordinate system like this. Maybe we have a coordinate system like this and our, uh, the system we follow from, uh, we, we have uh, to transform from has a coordinate system maybe in this, in this direction, okay? Now you want to transform this coordinate system to our coordinate system which will, which will match to our screen and all that. So what we have is a, a local coordinate system. The local coordinate system has to be transformed to the what's called the scene coordinate system, which is uh, the coordinate system of the screen or or the coordinate system which we'll be using. Okay, okay. Now, how we do that? So for that, we need to do a few things. Uh, let me come here first. Say, this is the coordinate system uh, belonging to. One second. Let me get a bigger pen. Okay, this is the origin of uh, this point where the, the dot I put on is the origin of the coordinate system belonging to uh, that the object which we want to transform. Okay, and it has uh, the x zero as an x and y not x not y not as this is not x zero just x not y not to tell us this that, that this much uh, is uh, this is the origin of that coordinate system the local coordinate system of that object which you want to transform. So that means the origin will be x naught y naught, right? Now we want to convert it into our uh, coordinate system. So we have to do the transformation, and it has to. It's a two-step process. So we need to adapt, uh, apply two steps. Number one is the translation. In translation, what we do is we will try to get this point, the origin of the coordinate system, which is at x naught y naught of the local coordinate system and translate here uh, so that this point matches to to our origin so how much i origin uh, how much i translate is minus x naught and minus y naught so the 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 amount x naught is and amount the y naught is say for example mm, let me make it a little smaller because it's getting a little bigger okay say for example this x naught is say from here to here it is six and y naught is from here to here is say for example 10. So to get it back to the zero, we have to do minus six and we have to do from the y minus 10. So whatever the x naught is, whatever the x naught is, I have to do minus x naught in the translation and whatever the y naught is, I have to do minus y naught in the translation. So by that what will happen is, we'll get this local coordinate uh, system, okay, its origin coincides with our uh, our, our um, the scene coordinate origin so that is x naught x zero y zero so it, it matches to that so we have to translate that that thing so when we are done with that like here I have translated it here okay uh, so that our uh, local coordinate and the our the scene coordinate origin matches to the single point now what what shall I do I should trans rotate now. Either I can rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise. So here I am rotating clockwise, for example. Okay, if I have to rotate clockwise, then so that means I am rotating this way. I, I will rotate this line this way so that this comes here and coincides with this line and this comes to coincide with this line. So how much I rotate? That is my theta. And because this is clockwise, so theta will be negative. So I have to do rotate negative theta. Okay, if I had done the clockwise, then the theta will be positive, that will be rotate theta, but I'm not rotating anti-clockwise, I'm rotating clockwise, that means I have to rotate it the theta times, okay, so that now this line comes up here, okay, and this y prime comes on the y, our coordinate system which is the xy, and the coordinates which is to be transformed, the local coordinate system of an object, that's x prime y prime so that x prime coincides with the x so x prime stays on the x and y prime stays on a y axis like this 
So this is what we do. So we had done two steps. Number one, we did the translation, get it from here, wherever it was, okay, and match its point. So match, we had, uh, why is it not writing? One second. Okay. Mm, I don't know why is it not writing. Yeah. So first of all, whatever the coordinate origin is, okay, of x prime, y prime, uh, match that with the origin. So get it here, translate it. Second, rotate it so that our axis, the x prime and x, axis and y prime and y axis um, coincides now the coordinate system of an object whatever the object we are trying to uh, draw or tra then transform or do any kind of transformation like translation rotation or sharing or scaling or reflection whatever you want to do on that now you can do it using our coordinate system with the x and y coordinates now 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 you can draw it here then then you, then, then you can make it bigger or smaller or or share it okay or you can actually uh, translate it you can move it to the other place you can just do whatever you want to do to it but now our coordinate system is transformed so this is a two-step process that is what we do here the first thing is what we do is we translate okay the first thing what we do is the translate uh, so that the origin x not y not x not y not is the origin of the local uh, coordinate system of that object so we want to uh, translate that uh, origin of x prime y prime system to the origin of the xy system so that the origin of xy system coincides with the x prime y prime system origin okay which was at the x not y not so how we do that by uh, by translating minus x naught and minus y naught if you translate this much amount it will come back to the zero but it will not be it will not quite uh, it will not align with the x axis and y axis so therefore we have to rotate x axis on the axis x so rotate the x prime axis onto the axis x so get it by the how much so you say negative theta so rotate it negative theta automatically the when you when you rotate the x-axis y-axis has to come up that much so when the x-axis comes down y-axis comes up y y i mean y uh, prime uh, matches with the y-axis and x prime matches with the x-axis now you are good to go so this is the transformation between coordinate systems right so how you do that by applying two processes two operations number one transform uh, so first first thing is the to translate x naught minus y naught okay so that means we have this uh, homogeneous coordinate system here of the uh, you know identity matrix and then three cross three but here rather than writing x naught y naught you say minus x naught minus y naught we have already seen it how to translate to match the origin in a pivot point rotation and a, and a fixed point scaling right we did that now second thing is to rotate but this time negative theta because why negative theta because it is clockwise rotation so instead of minus sine theta here you have minus sine theta here okay this is the matrix of rotation clockwise simple as it is then you multiply the both of them together okay you have to multiply that or negative theta minus t of uh, because you write whatever what you do first you write it on the right side then what you do next you write on the left side if you have done something else like in our uh, pivot point rotation we again translate back to the original position so that is to be written on the left side here okay but now here only we have two operations first translation to match the origin of the two uh, two coordinate systems and then rotation to match the x-axis and y-axis right so this is what we do so how we do that by multiplying these two matrices so you have to multiply these two matrices this is easy for you now we had done a lot of matrix multiplications now in our previous lectures you can do it by column versus row and get the resultant matrix and we can apply that and by that we transform any coordinate system to our coordinate system okay using uh the uh, using x naught and y naught and sine theta and the theta which will tell us how much to rotate and all that okay okay